How's it going, everyone? How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh K. The Lonely Hermit, and today, ladies and gentlemen, we have our match with the Iowa Incineroar. I am nervous and excited. I'm a little out of breath right now because I went to help my sister or something. Um, but we are here right now, um, participating team. We're rolling, not that team, guys, <laughs> not our team. This team right here, we're rolling with Hippowdon, Dracovish, Landorus, Rotom Heat, and Leafeon, and Corviknight. Um, but before we get into all that, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. If you're first subscribe, be sure to leave a like on the video. Check out the socials in the description, my Twitter, and Instagram, we're both at him and underscore, uh, and all that good stuff down below. But merch, the LA Inferno merch, and our um, loaners merch are down below as well. So be sure to check all that good stuff out. And Landon, of course, our opponent, is going to be down below. Um... <sighs> <I'm gonna> breathe <laughs> all this stuff is down below um and place link for the ebl matches and the weekly roundups are all down below as well um let's see what team landon brought i'm perfect that's exactly what i was expecting incineroar tapu lele scissor quagsire polaroth and vanillax that is exactly what i was expecting i didn't get a chance to say it but that's exactly what i was expecting so there were some changes to the playoff stuff. We are not officially in the playoffs, although we are. I know the results to Jack and Foose's match. Uh, if you guys haven't watched it, spoiler, I guess. Uh, Jack lost, so that means um, we are in the playoffs. Um, that also means that I believe Derek should be guaranteed first place and Foose should be guaranteed second place. So, um, essentially, in this match, we're playing for who we're going to play first round, but I really i don't see it an easy path at all like if you face derek or face Foose, it's gonna be difficult either way so i'm coming up with I, I just dropped some different strategies as you can see landers is here since week for the first time since week one um so we're yeah we're good sorry i'm all over the place right now um we're good um we're just trying some different things not disrespect to landon um i don't mean this in like a disrespectful way like i think he's gonna be easy or something no i just kind of don't really care too much about this matchup uh, it, to a certain degree because i'm like if I get Derek, we almost lost him. If I get Foose, we lost him. Like, it's really not... I'm not super confident either way. So, I'm going to try to put a good showing with the strategy. But if we lose, we lose. I'm trying something really different here. So, we'll see. He starts out with Polyrath. Okay. My ideal situation is he would have started off with... Um, with... Uh, what's it called? Uh, Vanillax. But it's okay. I think we should still be able to take a hit from this thing. Um, at least one hit because I want to get my stealth rocks up right away because that hurts his vanilla X It hurts his incineroar um, and we'll be in a pretty good spot. I don't have water by the way. It kind of sucks So waterfall we should survive that. Just don't we eat that we eat that Stealth rocks perfect. We get them up Okay, now does he use waterfall again is a good question Does he use waterfall again? Does he use waterfall again? Because uh, if we bring out Dracovish, we're going to take a hit, but then he's probably just going to immediately switch. He probably has Ice Punch. I feel like we switch, though, regardless. So if anything, we could just switch out of you. So let's go into Drip Drip. If he Ice Punches, we should be able to take that. We should be able to take a Waterfall easily. That's quad resisted. Rain Dance. Okay. Okay. No, that's fair. That's fair. That is fair. Now, does he switch to Lele or does he switch to Vanillax? Either way, I think he switches. I think we just go for an Iron Head. I think we just go for an Iron Head. No, he stays in. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Payback? That shouldn't do a whole ton. Yeah. Okay. Well, then we just Psychic Fangs. If he brings in Lele, that's worse than if he brings in... Um... Vanillax, because Vanillax won't resist the psychic things. Vanillax will not resist the psychic things. Wow, bulky, bulky. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. That's gonna do a lot. That's gonna do a lot. Okay. Oh, Fish of Surrender isn't gonna do a ton either. I think he does payback again, to be honest. Screw it. Screw it. As you can see, our Corviknight is different. We are doing the rest talk setup instead of Rue substitute bulk up. Trying something a little bit different. Like I said, we're just trying some different things. If it flops completely, then I know not to try it again. Um, but if it doesn't, then, you know, maybe that's something to think about in future matches. Uh, I could see him bringing out Incineroar here. Um, so let's go ahead and just draw pack. Nothing on his team eats a draw pack except for Scizor. 
Um, if he brings in Scizor, we bring in Rotom Heat to try and scare him out of it. Close combat. Okay, CC. He's definitely going to die to this. He's definitely going to die to this now. I feel like... I'm not built into attack, but I feel like with that defense drop, he should die to this. Yes. Perfect. First kill. We take down his Polyrath. Oh, it was a crit. I don't know if it mattered. I feel like it maybe it mattered. I feel like maybe he would have been left in red or very low. Okay, rain stopped. That's cool. That's okay. So his rain dancer is down. His polyrath did a decent amount of decent decent work though. His polyrath did decent work. Um, nothing too long lasting. I feel like, but we yeah, like I said, we're trying rest talk. We're gonna see how this works out versus the uh, roost bulk up substitute. Because when I was trying that against this team, Corviknight wasn't doing too too hot. Um, it wasn't doing too well with that setup. So I just decided I I just saw that it could learn rest and it could learn same talk. So I was like, screw it, let's try it. So he brings out Z and Funnelman. He brings out Z and Funnelman. Takes big damage from that stealth rocks. Mirror armor intimidate. Reflects it right back. This is exactly what I wanted, by the way. I wanted this. Okay, we're going to. Should we just rest? I feel like he outs. Does he outspeed us? Incineroar is fairly slow. I mean, I doubt he's built into speed. Unless. If he's built into speed, he. Oh, there's a chance he outspeed us. Speeds us. Let's go ahead and rest. Let's see if he outspeed. No. Okay. So we should be able to eat that, I feel like. And then we just rest and get our health right back. We eat that and we just rest. He probably he's probably gonna figure it out by now that we get rest off. The only bad part is if we get Iron Head. That is the only bad part. I should have uh, maybe I should have put body press on. Now that I think about it. Maybe I should have put body press on. Hmm. Something to think about in the future. Something to think about in the future. Maybe, maybe, maybe. So the hope is that maybe he brings in... I doubt he brings in Lele or Vanillax on this thing. Scizor would be the best possible option for him. If he does that, we just switch into Rotom Heat to try and scare him out of it. Blaze Kick, okay. He's going to try and get the burn. Oh, nice. Big hit, big hit, big hit. Big hit. There's Sleep Talk. Please get the Drill Pack. Please get the Drill Pack. Iron Head, of course. Ugh. I think we wake up this turn, don't we? It's two turns. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I feel like he blaze kicks again because he saw how much damage that did. I feel like he blaze kicks again because he saw how much damage that did. If he misses, that'd be ideal. If he misses, that'd be ideal. It's okay that Corviknight stays asleep because it has sleep talk, so it's okay. Miss, miss. Flare Blitz. That, sh that still shouldn't do a whole lot. Yeah. Still shouldn't do a whole lot. It burned. That's huge. That's huge, dude. My luck with burns has not been great, has it? Our luck in this season has not been the best. It has not been the best. We're just going to fish this run because there's kind of no point to keeping you alive. Honestly. Honestly, there's kind of no point to keeping me alive. So we're just going to... Maybe I should have iron-headed to try and predict it. Yeah, I should have iron-headed. I should have iron-headed. It's okay. Sends out Luigi. Okay. So maybe we do switch because I don't want him to Swords Dance on us. And I don't know if he has potentially bat Baton Pass. I doubt it, but that still did a heck of a lot of damage. That still did a heck of a lot of damage. If he kills us, he kills us. We're just going to fish this run. Like, Dracovish is kind of running its usability at this point. Bullet Punch. That shouldn't kill, I feel like. Oh, Technician. Technician. We survived. Okay, so we get off another vicious Ren. Which I feel like should kill. No. Wow. We didn't outspeed. We didn't outspeed. We didn't outspeed. That's why. All right. So easy switch is into Rotom. Let's not think about it too much. Let's go straight into Rotom Heat. Um... Probably brings in Quagsire. Probably brings in Quagsire. We're just going to light screen right away. We're just going to light screen right away. I brought light screen on Rotom for this reason. Because I had a feeling if I brought it on Scizor, he'd probably switch to Quagsire. So we brought light screen. We're just going to try and protect ourselves here. The only problem is we lose one of our counters to Quagsire in... Oh, he stayed in. Okay. That's fair. No, fair enough. Wow, I wish I would have overheated. We eat that. I wish I would have overheated. We outspeed at least. Let's just overheat then, I guess. Please, man. Please don't miss me. Okay, cool. So we're gonna kill that. He probably brings in whoop. Probably brings in whoop at this point, which I'm just gonna protect on. I'm just gonna protect on it, and then we'll see from there. 
we'll see from there so far i'm not gonna lie it's not being too great i'm not gonna lie this isn't this isn't exactly how i wanted to go um sends out the bloop as we expected of course as we expected does he dynamax it hmm curious 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 he probably tries to use an ice type move predicting huh let's just protect let's see what happens let's just protect see what happens protect let's see what happens we can't volt switch on this thing because it is ground that'd be great but we can't okay scald okay that's fine then we just do this unless he ice beams i feel like leafy should be able to take an ice beam and we can outspeed we will definitely outspeed this thing like 110 percent we outspeed a, a quack side 110 percent 150 10 the only catch is if he burns us if he burns us we're screwed which he doesn't perfect um does he stay in on this thing i feel like maybe he doesn't think i know it has an ice type move or we could get off a free swords dance as you can see i'm running this set again just a little more offensive does he attack again probably has ice beam right ice beam ice punch Mm, I think we just I think we just leaf blade. I don't think I think the only thing on this team that takes a leaf blade is his incineroar. So yep, I should have swords dance. I should have known. Why would he stay in? 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 Of course not. Of course he wouldn't stay in. Psychic surge. What exact? I I freaking should have researched this. What exactly does psychic surge do? I know Pokemon can't fall asleep. So that's rest out the window. That did a lot of damage. That did a lot of our light screen wore off at the worst time, dude. If our light screen stayed active for one more turn, we would have been easily been able to take a hit. I feel like it just moon blasts. I think maybe we let Leafeon go down. I think maybe we let Leafeon go down here. As much as I would love to get off this strategy, I feel like we just let it go down. I mean, if it moon blasts, screw it. Let's try this, actually. Let's try this. I don't we we don't outspeed a Lele, assuming it's built into speed. If it's not even then, it'd be really close. Psychic, okay. That's fair. Okay. Oh, we survived. I don't think it matters. I don't think we outspeed this thing. On the chance that we do, I'm gonna try to get up a light screen before we die. No, okay. I expect that. That's okay. Dude, I don't know why he used Shadow Ball. Rotom's not ghost. <laughs> I have an idea for this thing though. We have one Pokemon that can outspeed it. That should outspeed it. Let me double check his speed. Yes. So we should outspeed. The way I built Rowan is it should outspeed everything on the team. So a sludge bomb should kill. I also put a little bit into special so that sludge bomb would kill. I also put a little bit into special so that sludge bomb would kill. I'm tempted to just do Screw it. I feel like we just do this. I feel like we just do this. Screw it. He's gonna... He's gonna... He withdrew. Okay. What did we hit with the max ooze? Whoop. Ah. Now it's fair. He probably has a nice type move on him. But we get off a big hit here. And that's going to raise our special attack, which raises the attack or the, 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 whatchamacallit of our, the special attack, the power of our grass knot. We brought grass knot specifically for a whoop. If it got, if it came down to this situation. I love his little. <laughs> I don't know if he was expecting that. I don't know if he was expecting. I forgot to rename my Pokemon. Ah, damn it. I just realized. My bad. We outspeed this thing, guaranteed. So he knows we have Max Ooze now. We played our card. That is going to raise our special attack. And the way I built Landorus is it should be able to kill. It would have been able to kill with a Grass Knot. But with, especially with the Max Overgrowth, it should definitely kill from this match. I feel like he just Ice Beams right here. Yep. I feel like he's just ice beams right here. That should kill. Yes. Boom. That's huge. That's huge. That is huge. That is huge. That is huge. That is huge. The only problem. No, his scissor died. I was going to say scissor is the only thing that can truly, truly counter this. Incineroar comes in. We max knuckle. Vanillix comes in. We max knuckle. That's it. If one of them comes in, we max knuckle. Hey, Dairy King, that's fine. Oh, my heart is pounding. Does it eat a max knuckle from this range? From this range? I, we die automatically to a nice type move. It's going to blizzard. I don't see why not. 
Does it die from this range to a 90? Does it die to this from this range? Does it die? Does it die? We just gotta risk it, huh? If we live, yeah, we're plus one. And he Dynamaxes. Fair enough. No, fair enough, fair enough. That's that's a good play. That's a good play. Because if not, Landers kind of just sweeps. That's fair. That's fair. Good play, good play. Good play, good play. That's smart. Does I don't I don't think it Max Knuckle doesn't kill. It gets it really low and it should put us in a good position, but I don't think it kills. It shouldn't kill. Oh I would have loved if it did though, but it's okay. Vanellix is at low health. One ice type move should kill. Yeah, it should definitely kill from this range. Should definitely kill. I would have been surprised. Imagine if it lived. That would have been massive. You guys don't understand. Okay. So he's got two more turns of Dynamax, and we can't stall him with Rotom Heat. Hey, at least we put in a pretty good performance to date. We put in a much better performance than usual, I will say. <laughs> um, so at this point, we just bring in Blackbeard and hope that Sleep Talk gets higher in head. If not, then he finishes us. Simple as that. It's really cut and dry right now. It's really cut and dry right now. If we don't hit an iron head, we die. And that's it. Match over. Max Hellstorm? I feel like we should maybe take this. No. Yeah, we're done. GG's landing. GG's. 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 Um, who is more likely to finish this Pokemon? Who does he have left? Incineroar uh, and Vanillax? Is that all he has left? Incineroar and Vanillax? I feel like. Hmm. It's Cinnamon and Vanillax. I'd rather keep it Pout on alive, just in case. No, he has someone else. Who does he have? Tapu Lele. Tapu Lele. Yeah, Tapu Lele finishes us, guaranteed. Um, let's just go ahead and substitute. Let's see if we outspeed. If not, then we just die. We do! Okay, we outspeed. So we get to stall him a little bit. We get to stall this last turn of Dynamax. Or Max Hellstorm, whatever. Yeah, Dynamax. It is Dynamax. I don't know why I corrected myself. So we eat that. Bye bye substitute, which is okay. We just wanted to get that fake protect off, essentially. I, I can't believe I forgot to rename my Pokemon. I just breeded these, by the way, literally today. Well, not the not the Leafy on the road time. I actually didn't breed those today. I EV trained them today. I bred the hub out on today. <laughs> Very busy. Uh, I guess we just Leaf Blade, hope for the best. He just clicks Ice Beam or Blizzard. We kill. He brings in. He brings in Incineroar. He brings in Incineroar here. I mean, I could baton pass into Hippowdon. <laughs> I could. Just for lols. Because if I bring in Hippowdon, he brings in Tapu Lele. It's gonna be close. He brings in Tapu Lele. It's gonna outspeed us. That's why he brought it in. It's gonna outspeed us. That's why he brought it in. And I think we just lose from this range. Oh, that's right. If he brings it in center of the stones, the stones, he's going to outspeed us. He has to be built into speed. He has to be. He has to be. He, he kills us. Unless Hippowdon can take one hit. If Hippowdon can take one hit. We might be in business. Maybe. That's a hard maybe. Hard maybe. I mean, a hard maybe. He made a couple misplays. Maybe if we Swords Dance with Leafeon and then Baton passed out, we could have maybe gone Landers going a little bit earlier. We could have gone Landers going a little bit earlier. I should have known. Why would he stay in? You know, I'm going to outspeed. I'm going to kill the Quagsire. Why would I? Why would he stay in? I should just Swords Dance. I don't know why I Leaf Blade. To be fair, though, I got tape. Oh, we outsped. We outsped. We outsped. It's not built into speed or not as much. We outsped. That's huge. We outsped. We outsped. That's huge. We might win this. Oh my god, I thought we weren't gonna outspeed. We actually might win this. We actually might win this. So the point is, stones are gonna come in. And I feel like, honestly, Hippowdon can take whatever hit, whatever hit this thing can do. So we're gonna get a Leaf Blade off, and we're just gonna let Leafeon go down. We're just gonna let Leafeon go down. No way he tries to stall me right here. I swear to God, landed. <laughs> we should have enough time to get one EQ off with, uh, with. So it's, it's not going to kill. I know that. Unless it critted. That would have been the only way that would have maybe killed. Miss. Yo, he missed. He missed. Yo. I think we got this. I, I feel like Hippowdon could take one hit. 
If he misses again, <laughs> that would suck. Dude, that's bad BM if he misses again. Oh, I was gonna say. Okay, so we should we we die to that. That's fine. We should survive with a powder. It's gonna come down to this though. We should survive a hit with a powder. We should survive a hit. And one EQ, even if we get burned somehow, one EQ kills. One EQ kills. Even if, even if, even if, yeah. And the sand. Yeah, even if, even if we get burned, one EQ kills, right? I feel like a powder takes one hit. The powder takes one hit, right? It's all, it all comes down to this. Does he take one hit? No, no, he doesn't. Yes. Oh, that came down to the wire, dude. GG's. Our first win where we completed the match. GG's, Landon. It came down to Leafeon outspeeding Tapu Lele. It came down to... Oh, wow. GG's. What a match, dude. That's my favorite match of the season. I know it involves me, and that might be conceded, but that's my favorite match of the season, dude. That is my favorite match of the season. GG's landing. GG's, dude. And now we have to face Foo. Skash. Darn it, I should have lost. <laughs> it's okay. Woo. Woo All right. Well, I'm sure Landon's going to want to hop into a call. So we're going to do that. If you guys want to hear the full conversation, I said this when I did it with Derek uh, and Jack. If you guys want to hear the full conversation, go check. Oh, I don't think I said it with Jack. Anyways, if you guys want to hear a full conversation, you got to go check out his battle. Um, so Landon's probably going to hop into a call here. So I'll catch up with you guys when we're going to do our outro. All right, guys. Well, one quick thing. Um, Landon's side is not going to have the call, I guess, because he, he forgot to change the settings or his computer updated and it changed the settings. So um, no call on Landon's side. So, but still go watch his side. I'm sure he's got a lot of good insight on the match. Um, but honestly, it came down to that final play where we just outsped Lele. I was not expecting that. I literally planned around so much around Lele outspeeding pretty much basically my whole team except Landers. That's what I planned around. I did not expect Leafeon to outspeed. And when it did, you guys saw, I was shocked. <laughs> I was shocked. And from that point, it was just banking on pure luck from Landon. Um, like if he critted Darkest Lariat or something, uh, then they would, we would have been in trouble, obviously. Uh, but GG's to Landon. Again, his links are down below. Be sure to check out his channel, all of that good stuff, guys. He's a great content creator, an amazing person. Go check his stuff out. Um, with that being said, I believe the way the playoffs shake out is we are facing Foos first. If I remember correctly, we are facing Foos first. So I need to prep a lot more for this time around because I'm, I'm very nervous for that matchup. I think we can do better. I think we can do a lot better. I feel like I'm understanding my team way more. Um, so I feel like I, I feel like we could do a lot better in that matchup. At the very least, get some kills, <laughs> at least. So I'm, I mean, I'm excited for that matchup. I'm very excited for how it's going to turn out. So, uh, but yeah, catch that next week. Uh, I don't think there's a, like a week in between. So it should be next week when we face Foos. Um, and yeah, that's going to be for this one, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, you can hear me, you would like and subscribe. Check out the socials in the description. My Twitter and Instagram are both at here, my lonely underscore. Uh, check out the merch down below as well. We have LA in front of merch. We have um, loners merch. All that good stuff is down below. Uh, check out the playlist links for the EBL matches. Hopefully, I'll have an update on Saturday. If not, that'll be updated by like Sunday, probably. Um, and then we have the weekly roundups playlist as well. So be sure to check all that good stuff out, guys. Uh, and of course, be sure to share socials with friends, family, everyone you know. Let the people know. Let me hear where it's at. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.